Now, let's talk about jobs. Yeah, this is terrifying. More people have lost their jobs in the United States since World War II than every single recession we've had all put together. This is a catastrophe economically like the United States has never seen since the Great Depression. Now, Barry, in this, in this economic boom, we added 23 million jobs, but to date, as of the jobs report this week, have lost 30 million jobs. That's 7 million more jobs than were added during this last boom. We'll call it the Trump boom. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's, it's terrifying. I, it, just, it seems like 20 years ago, when it was only two months ago, Kent, the economy was on fire, record unemployment numbers that were so low that there were records being sent for Hispanics, for Amer uh, African Americans, for women, for Asians, um, Latinos. It's gone. All the jobs have gone. There's more people unemployed than any other time in American history right now, and it's still getting worse because the economy, when it does open, will take a while to ramp up. You don't just open the door and everybody shows up with money. Why? Because everybody's broke and their credit cards are maxed out. Barry, let me ask you something. At what point, I mean, you're an international business guy, international attorney and stuff. At what point do they finally break down and call it for what it is? We're in a full blown depression. We're right there. At what point do they call it? It, it's 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 a it's an economics term that has to do with the number of quarters of contraction in the GNP. I'm sure by next quarter they're going to call it that. But the question is, and I think this is why the economic experts are pushing so hard to start the economy. It will come back, Ken. Nobody knows how fast and nobody knows how much. But until you open the doors and give people a chance to live again, to work again, to spend again, we don't know. Quite frankly, we just don't know. Right now, if we had to take a snapshot, we're screwed. Yep. The economy is dead, and if this isn't a depression, then the word means nothing. So uh, who, uh, who takes the political capital on this? Does, uh, uh, does Biden call it the Trump depression? Does Trump call it the Pelosi po depression? Where does this go? It's like it's literally like a, a sitting in a bathtub with a slick bar of soap, everyone trying to catch it or everyone trying to get rid of it. Who, wh where is it going to land when the music stops? I, I, I'm having trouble with Pelosi and Trump in the same bathtub. And Those are, that's add, a scene I, I don't want to see under any circumstances. That, that hey, takes it beyond depression. Don't send me that meme. But I can tell you, I can tell you, the reality is COVID-19 came from China. And had we not shut down, nobody knows how bad it could have gotten. The question is, who do Americans blame for this come November in the presidential, senatorial, and House elections? If people think, which right now I think they do, that Trump's response nationally was more or less as good as anyone could have done, then the reality of the COVID-19 crisis and the response may not figure in. I am positive, beyond any shadow of a doubt, Biden and the Democratic Party will push very hard to blame Trump, not for COVID-19, no one thinks he came up with it, but they'll blame him for the response. Not enough, not fast enough, not motivating enough. He could have done this, he could have done that. They will Monday morning quarterback it into the ground. The question is, who do people believe? And that will decide the presidential election. I, I'm absolutely positive it'll be on everybody's mind in November. No doubt about that. Prediction, if they did have to name it and something sticks, what do you think? Is it going to be Trump? Is it going to be Pelosi? What's the name of this uh, depression going to be? I have my own prediction. I don't think it's going to be the Trump depression. Everybody says, and this is before COVID and since, that Trump's a business guy. Most people give him credit for the economic boom, both in the stock market and job and manufacturing creation over the last several years. He is pushing hard to say, I'll bring the economy back. There's two things that really happen. It's a top down and a bottom, and a, uh, sorry, a top down and a bottom up, meaning the demand on the bottom from consumers has gotta be there 
And that is affected by the push pull from the top saying, don't worry, everything's going to be fine. If Trump was gloom and dooming from the White House, he could make this into the worst depression in American history by saying, don't spend money, don't go back to work, don't leave your house. Instead, he's being the optimist. That's what he should be doing as the leader of the country. If that trickles down fast enough and the recovery starts kicking in by summer, he gets reelected. If it doesn't, he probably won't. Got it. I'm going to make a prediction here. It's going to be the Fauci depression. <laughs> a miniature, so a mini depression.